So I think I changed my mind. Last episode I said I was gonna make this one a double because we missed one. But I, I, the more I thought about it, I think it makes more sense to just do an extra episode instead of making one episode into like two. So as long as everything goes to plan, this episode should be going up like in the morning-ish. And then the next episode will be going up around like the normal time, evening-ish. And then yeah, we should be back on track here because we are not at the point where I can just be missing days of playing a game. Because man, we are deep in this push to towards World Series. I mean, actually rating wise, we're not that deep. But in terms of like effort, <laughs> we're pretty deep here because we we've played plenty of games this season. I'm not as far along as I had hoped. We're only at 778 and we got a long ways to go before the season ends on Monday. But if we can win this game, that should get us to around 800. And then if we can win our next game too, then, you know, we could be sitting at somewhere between 820 to 830. And then I think we'd be in a pretty solid solid spot as long as we keep winning which that's the tough part because i'm having one of my worst seasons probably this whole year of pack attack we're six and three but what worries me is the the slash line the batting average on base i guess not so much slugging but the other ones and the era so yeah i'm just not playing as well as i need to be playing we don't have anything new for the team after last episode we got all of our big upgrades in that one after selling what we did get in the packs at the end though we get uh i actually didn't write down exactly how much we added but our new stub bank total is 16,492, so we got about 5,000 stubs towards the stub bank. And I think I'm going to go Woodruff today over Porcello because he's at full. Porcello's got a little sliver of energy to still regenerate. But actually, now that I think about it, isn't this exactly what happened last time? Porcello was almost full. Woodruff was full, so I went with Woodruff and he got lit up. Well, let's make sure we have a better game today, Brandon. It also looks like this is going to be our 90th game it's kind of crazy just because of the fact that this is only what episode 75 so, so we've had that many episodes where we've had an early quit and have played a second game and last episode could have been one of them too we could have we could have already been at 90 games i'm hoping for another stress-free game man or at least early offense like an early quit i don't know i can't bank on that but we're facing a lefty which is a good thing basically i just want to get my offense going early again and then who knows what'll happen let's just hope woodruff can actually pitch today this is uh this is actually kind of a make or break start for woodruff here now that i think about it if he if he's bad again he's the next one i'm replacing next time we get a, a bundle that's a start though oh don't like that don't like that that was way below the zone too He's stealing, we got the strikeout, JT's got the arm, doesn't even need a perfect throw. I'm calling it a 1-2-3 inning. Alright, man, Lefty Grove, you don't see him often. He's got outlier, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I can't be swinging at that, what am I doing? Can't be missing that. Hmm, we were on that, timing-wise. Definitely not the PCI. That changeup's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Yeah, man, I can't, I can't pick it up out of his hand. Ah, yeah, this, this is bad. I, I should not be having trouble. I'll be honest. These pitches aren't that difficult looking. I'm just selling out. Ooh, that's always a fun one. The slider, though, the slider's a good pitch. Can we get him again? Third time in the inning. All right, we got the out. That's all that matters. All right, we went down one, two, three in the last game to start, and then Fran Mill started it for us. We could still get things going early. Yeah, dude, I can't. I tried so hard. He only threw fastball changeup this is bad. He's only thrown three pitches total, like three different pitches. I think Lefty Grove has five. Wow. All right, you know what? That, that That's actually fine. That is a telling at bat because we got to 3-2 and he threw three straight pitches in the zone, including that change and the slider. So he's afraid of the walk. It's good to know. We get to three balls, we're going to see a strike unless he messes up. All right, we're back to 3-2 again. 
Yeah, and that was right there for me too. Wow. I don't I can't think of a time I've ever had this much trouble with just a simple fastball changeup. Like that is all he's throwing. Fastball changeup, occasional slider. He hasn't even used his other pitches and I can't do anything. Can't drop. There we go. We're good. Ah, oh, we don't want that though. That's not fun. That was a good pitch. Take him out. You need offense, right? Oh, he got that bunt down. Oh, we almost we almost had some cheese. Hey, we fooled him with the 12-6 again. Let's see what we can do here. 0-2 count. Just don't hit him. There we go. That's that's just fun. That is just too much fun. This is a change. Wait back. Oh no, I okay. I was way off. I was early on a fastball before that. I thought for sure he was gonna go to the change. Marte. I don't know if I got enough of that. Yeah, I missed it again, dude. That is like the second time we've had that exact swing. Oh, we could have some offense if I was just a little bit better with my PCI. Ah, there's another pitch, a new one. Oh, and of course, all right, he goes to it again. It ends up in the zone. All right, we're looking bad one time through the order. Lucky for us, you get three times through the order, so we're fine. That's a good 12-6. It seems like if we're getting the 12-6 kind of more inside, that's when he's having some issues. And he is just straight up not chasing that two seam. <laughs> I've thrown it so many times and he will not chase righty or lefty. And we might have gotten away with that. Dang. Wow, dude, come on. He has two perfect perfects this game. Both of them are on changeups below the zone. Ah, that's not. All right, come on, Schmidt. Show your fielding. There we go. That's why we got you there. All right, this is where the game starts. Still 0 0, leadoff hitter. First three innings didn't even exist. Okay, wow, dude. That is a step back. That is a major step back, that at bat. Really? Oh, dude, this is. This is moving out of bad territory and moving into embarrassing territory. This is, this is not a game I want to share. This guy might have the best eye I've ever come across when it comes to fastballs. Like if, if it's barely missing the two seam or the four seam, he's just not swinging. It catches the zone most of the time he's swinging. That wasn't the best swing, but he still got the eye. Ah, of course, you can't, you can't give him that, dude. You cannot give him that. That is just a hit that should not be allowed to exist. What are you doing? What is this? Get on for, wait, am I? I thought, I, I thought there was two outs, okay. Nah, nah. Oh man, with how I'm playing, that could be game right there. I, uh, there's no way to go back and look, but I'm wondering now if I, on that failed bunt strikeout, if I threw that to second, if we could have had him stealing, because that would kind of suck if I just completely blew that. That is, that is just pretty, though. That is why we got Mike Schmidt there. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's not allowed. Man, just wait till he throws a cutter now. That's gonna suck. Schmidt, there we go. We're not hitless anymore. His first hit with us on the team. Right. Oh, that. Mm. Riley? That's not going to carry, though. Yeah, no. We're going to get him to third, even though that's Vlad. That was a fastball. Oh, this guy is the most unpredictable. I'm early on the fastball before that, so you think it only makes sense to throw a change. But not only does he throw the fastball, he throws it in a spot where it's easily mistaken for a change. Nice. That missed. That missed, but it should still be an out. There we go. One more, man. I'm tripling up. Oh, that wasn't even good. <laughs> hey, he did walk me. He will throw a ball. I think I'm going to stick with Woodruff. Ah, 
try a nice little hit and run here on a 3-2. Oh, I could have just taken that. It would have been ball four. Uh, I mean, it was, I, I said hit and run. It wasn't a hit and run. I wasn't going to swing no matter what. That just fooled me. Oh my God, that did not, that, uh, that literally didn't look like it was anywhere near the zone out of his hand. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it other than that. I mean, you, you can't take that. You just, you can't take that pitch on a 3-2. That sucks. Oh yeah, I'll stay with Woodruff. That sounds like a good idea. Really, dude? You, you just hit a perfect, perfect home run. And then you're going to drop down a bunt? Stealing, please. He swung. We got him again. That's our second strike him out, throw him out, double play. That's too funny. That, that doesn't happen often to get one, let alone two in a game. All right, we need a couple runs now. Great piece of hitting, Vlad. Oh my god. I ju I, it's like I haven't adjusted at all. Stop it. I was late. This is this is so bad. This is so bad. And you know what would be cool? If, like, you know, the stamina rating actually mattered so that now that he's over 100 pitches, maybe he'd have to start thinking about taking him out. But we all know that he's probably not even halfway done. It's unbelievable how good of an eye this guy has against fastballs. Only fastballs. <sighs> if only this game from Woodruff actually felt like a good game. Because, like, all things considered, this is a really good game out of Woodruff. It just... It, <laughs> it feels like he's not keeping us in it. And it's only 2-0. Alright, we got him one last time from Woodruff. That, I mean, I'm assuming that's going to be it for him. D please, just square one up. I'm either on it with the PCI and way too early, or just not uh, not even on it timing-wise. And yeah, I mean, that that's the third of that identical swing this game. Slightly under it with good timing. You just, you gotta be better. That, yeah, that's fitting. Ah, I didn't even, that was supposed to be a check. Well, I guess we'll stick with Woodruff. One hit or one walk or one hard hit ball allowed, he's probably done. All right. I mean, we're kind of racking up the strikeouts too, but I can't even feel good about it when I have more. Hey, we got him again. 3-2 count with the slider. Oh, come. oh, whoa, whoa, he swung outside of the zone by plenty on a fastball? Alright, one way or another, we gotta say that was a good game out of Woodruff. I mean, with how things are going, maybe not good enough to have gotten us the win, but that was a good game after his last one being as bad as it was. Alright, man, Chris Bryant. Last time I pinch hit with him, he hit a homer. No way he goes to the pen. No way he go. Are you kidding? Class A2? He has opened the door. The door was shut and locked, and he just willingly opened it. Please carry, dude. I earned it. There we go. Juan Soto. First pitch from Classe. Why would you bring him in? Cut it in half, man, and there's still no outs. We got to keep going. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we just missed that one. Oh, no. Oh, you could have given it to me. Oh, 3 2 after that battle. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? At least swing the bat. Maybe we foul it off. So his best pitch right now is hanging a slider. Yeah, that's fitting. Line out to end the game. Dude, he... If there was one guy I could have asked him to put in, it would have been Classe. Because that, that's like the 199 overall reliever that I can hit. That that one that one sucks, dude. That sucks to lose. I I know at the end of the day, you're you're gonna look at that line and see two hits, 17 strikeouts. You shouldn't have won that game. But the fact that he brought in Classe, I can sit here saying I I think I should have won. I think I should have been able to pull that off. Not that I played better than him anyway, but against Classe, I definitely could have done enough.
Oh, and we really, we lose that much, dude? Minus 31, are you kidding? I don't know, either that was extremely bad, or Lefty Grove has been better than we've given him credit for this whole time. I'm just, I'm just not able to string together wins of this season, man. And it is really hurting our chances of making it to World Series. Six and four. Six and four when my overall record on this account is 74 and 16. If we flip one game from a loss to a win, if we just flip that last game from a loss to a win, we're looking at like an 810 rating, but instead we're sitting here at 747. All right, well this is this is what we're looking like. We got our one run for 500 stubs, only six total bases, so that's another 1500. I drew one walk for 250, and then we got to take away 1800 stubs because I struck out 18 times. Oh, that's awful. Six innings worth of outs was just strikeouts. That can't happen. Ah, but on the mound, two runs allowed from Woodruff still gives us 2,000 stubs. Nine hits allowed is still good for 750. I struck him out 15 times. So that's 3,750 and Woodruff gets the complete game for that one. So that's another 1,500. So we, we end up with 8,450 stubs. And since we didn't get enough to get any headliner bundles, all of that just goes straight to the stub bank and uh that unfortunately is gonna do it for this one we just i just need to string together wins we can't come back out and lose the next game because then we'll be right back where we were we gotta make sure we win that next one so we can at least get back to 770 and then go from there so again as long as everything goes to plan that next episode should be out later today so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that one but that's it for this one guys thanks for watching i'm sorry i just can't deliver but i'll see you next time